Hey, welcome Guild Wars 2 fans. We're back in the mist today and we are going to talk a little bit about ranked PvP and a build that I've been playing with here for a little bit. Absolutely love it. It is a point controlled druid and a lot of the build focuses on making sure that you can root uh, enemies off of the point as well as be able to force them off the point. And uh, really just control your opponent's movements around the node. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, the key features of this build here real quick. So we have a lot of access through Entangle and through the trait line we're using Ancient Seed for immobilization. And what immobilization does is it not only roots the uh, player in place, but it keeps them from changing directions. So if you have teammates that are either using skills or um, sigils that allow for more damage from if they're flanking from the sides or from the back, it's going to give them a higher opportunity to put extra damage on, as well as the fact they're also not going to be able to dodge while they're entangled. So. It gives you a huge opportunity for burst moves on uh, power-based builds. Uh, while this build is specifically Kandi-based, it does give you the opportunity to combo well with your teammates. So this build I'm running specifically for uh, healing condition and getting a little bit of power damage. We're not really getting that crit out there, so we're not looking for big spikes, but we're looking to get some consistent pressure out there while still being tanky enough to stay on point and really try to control that point. Um, this build does do a little bit better with another uh, support class in the comp somewhere because uh, you can generally do really well in uh, 1v1s with this and even 2v1s. When you start getting the three players is where it's going to get a little more difficult and usually you're going to get melted pretty quickly. Uh, but this build has worked pretty well for me in 1v1s and 2v1s. So a lot of the other uh, points of focus for this build are making sure you have your poison uptime. So you have poison uptime from the volley attack, from the viper's nest, and also from the second skill, the serpent strike of the sword 2, which is also here for more uh, evade and movement speed. So... There's a lot of different things that this build can do, uh, but point control is the uh, the main focus. So let's go ahead and look at some of the other traits on here that uh, really are helping out. So you've got the uh, cooldowns for traps, you have the bleeding inflicts more damage, so that's really going to uh, be working with the uh, bleeding you're going to see from mostly just from your short bow. And then we also have uh, damage and condition duration is increased after dodge rolls. So as you're dodging, we're going to be picking up uh, increased uh, effectiveness on our conditions. So since we're building with vitality in here, the vitality is also going to give us extra expertise. And then we also are uh, giving out poison from the refined toxins and survival skills have reduced recharge since we're using quite a few survival skills and they will also remove conditions. So there is a lot of condition removal in this build as well as access to fury. So that's really a lot of this build. So I think the uh, the best way is to roll some footage here, some of the matches that I've done so far, and uh, kind of show you what this build has done for me so far. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions or suggestions for the build.